Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're doing well and thanks for stopping by. If you're watching this video, it's most likely because you're interested in a cybersecurity career as a security analyst. Whether you're not working in tech at all right now, or if you're trying to switch from another tech role, the security analyst role is one of the most widely known positions in cybersecurity, and it's where a lot of people start their journey. Typically, when we think about cybersecurity roles, we think about defense, which are the people that are trying to defend our networks, and we have offense, which are the people that are trying to attack our networks and actually identify gaps in our security controls. In case you're wondering, the security analyst is generally a defensive job, but let's break it down a little bit more. So first, let's answer, what does a security analyst do? Security analysts identify and assess security risks, they analyze security data, and they develop and implement security strategies to protect an organization's technology infrastructure and data. Sometimes you might hear a security analyst also called a cybersecurity analyst or an information security analyst, but it's the same thing. One of the key differences between a SOC analyst, which is another popular title, and a security analyst is where the roles actually focus their efforts. Typically, a SOC analyst is very concerned with the technical aspects of cybersecurity, which usually involves reading through a lot of audit logs for networks and systems. A security analyst, on the other hand, might also be looking at those audit logs, but they could also be involved with writing policies, involved with risk discussions, and many other things. Keep in mind the titles don't always explain the full story, but I'd like to explain a security analyst like this when it's properly implemented. It's kind of the middle ground between a SOC analyst, which is really technical, and then a GRC analyst, which typically isn't that technical. What's a GRC analyst, you might be asking? We aren't going to dive too deep into that role for this video, but a GRC analyst deals a lot with compliance, risk management, and policies, so it's generally considered a less technical role. You can basically think of a security analyst as a generalist cybersecurity analyst or information security analyst because they wear a bunch of different hats. One of the questions I get asked a lot is about the security analyst salary. So let's take a look at a salary range. So I went to Glassdoor and I searched for security analyst. So you can see it came up with cybersecurity analyst, but it gave us an average pay of 96,000. So just under 97,000 is the average. If we look at the range here, you can see it's anywhere from 62,000 to 152,000, but most likely you're gonna be somewhere between 77,000 and 123,000. Now, this can vary based on a lot of different factors, your education, your skill set, which company you're applying to or interviewing with, what they're able to pay. There are so many different factors that can affect your pay, but this is a pretty good range to consider, especially when you're first starting out. I hope you're enjoying the content so far. If you are, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. That way YouTube knows you enjoy the content. Let's also take a second to talk about Cyber Training Pro and the training and career services that they offer. Are you tired of overpaying for cybersecurity training? Are you interested in training from industry professionals? Are you looking for cybersecurity career services? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then CyberTrainingPro.com is the perfect platform for you. At Cyber Training Pro, we're a one-stop shop for all your cybersecurity needs. We can train you for industry certifications or just improve your overall knowledge and skills in a certain area. Unlike other platforms, we don't stop there. We can also coach you throughout your career, practice your interview skills, or create a high-performing resume with our career services. CyberTrainingPro.com isn't just another training platform. Students get exclusive access to our private community where we go beyond training courses to provide additional content, tips and tricks, and engagement with both other students and staff. Look. By the year 2025, there could be as many as 3.5 million job openings in cybersecurity. With so much opportunity, why not maximize your career potential with a platform that cares about your success? Come join us at cybertrainingpro.com and start building your future today. All right, so now that you know how much money you can make, let's talk about some free training options that you can use to improve your knowledge and build important skills. Keep in mind that we aren't covering these in order of importance, but they're all important skills for a security analyst to have. The first option that I brought up is from the vendor ISC Squared, which makes a CISSP certification, which is one of the gold standard certifications that we have in cybersecurity, but they released a new certification. It's called the CC, or Certified in Cybersecurity, and they're giving away a ton of free training to get people certified with this. So this is one that you definitely want to take advantage of. If we scroll down here, you can start to see a little bit more about what it actually is. It's a foundational cybersecurity certification designed to help recipients build a pathway to a rewarding career in cybersecurity. It's meant for IT professionals, career changers, college students, recent graduates. And you can basically go through here and see exactly what it is, but they are giving away so much free training for this certification. I can't imagine why you would just ignore this or not go for it if you're in that situation. 
The second option is from a company called Cyberary, and they make a bunch of different IT and cybersecurity training, but they have this IT and cybersecurity foundations course. Now, anytime there's a foundation course, typically a lot of times they are free or they're offered at a lower cost because obviously if you're just starting out, it's gonna be very difficult for you to afford any of the very expensive courses or have an employer that's gonna fund that. But all you have to do is go here and create an account and then you can get access to this course. Now they do have a lot of other pathways and things like that that you can do on Cyberary, right? Outside of this course. But again, this is a really good first step. And you can see this path covers the foundational skills that all cybersecurity roles and job functions are built on. You learn about key concepts and skills, including Wireshark, Nmap, cryptography, firewall, IDS, and vulnerability scanner basics. So it is, again, meant for the entry level candidate, but you can go through here and see all the different stuff that's offered for it. Free, really good option to go after. All right, the next option that I brought up is Elastic Security Fundamentals SIM course. So if you're not familiar with the ELK stack or ELK or even what a SIM is, basically the idea is the SIM is a tool that can bring in a lot of different logs from a bunch of different systems into one dashboard or one system and you create all these different views and dashboards and reports and things like that so you can make decisions, you can identify attacks, you can correlate all that data together instead of having to go to each system and look at it and try to connect the dots and everything. So this is a really good option for training. This course is free. And with SIM tools, there's a whole bunch of different ones out there. People typically are familiar with something called Splunk, which is another SIM tool. But this is another common and popular option as well. And the thing with a lot of these tools is if you learn one kind of tool in a particular category, so a SIM tool, for example, then a lot of times you understand how that tool works at its core, so how a SIM tool works. And then if you have to go use another tool, so let's say you had to go use Splunk, you're gonna understand conceptually how that tool works. You just have to learn how that other tool specifically works and how that's a little bit different and how to operate within that interface. So this is a really good option to learn what a SIM is and how to actually use it. Now, because we're talking about a security analyst role, again, typically this kind of role wears a lot of different hats we can't ignore talking about frameworks or compliance. So the NIST Risk Management Framework is one of the largest and most popular frameworks, especially in the United States, because all the governments and anybody that works with the government has to abide by it. But this is a really good place to start with learning about compliance, learning about frameworks, because it is very comprehensive. So there's this introductory course to risk management frameworks and if you go through here, you can see the purpose of this course is to provide people new to risk management, that'd be you if you're new to cybersecurity, with an overview of a methodology for managing organizational risk in accordance with NIST Special Publication uh, 800-37, Revision 2, which is risk management. We're not going to cover the different frameworks or the different documents that are associated with risk management framework, but if you go through this course, you're going to learn all about that. It's a free course, it's three hours of training. You just go here and then launch RMF introductory course and you'll be able to take it. The next option is a website called TryHackMe. You might have heard of TryHackMe before. Basically they have a bunch of different rooms that are kind of like classes or courses and you can go and learn specific things about them. Now they do have a paid version. It's really inexpensive to get, but they also have a free version where you don't have to pay obviously and you can get access to all these different free rooms, learning cybersecurity, introductory networking. They have these different advents every year around the Christmas timeframe. Uh, introductory researching, Linux fundamentals, vulnerability. So there's all these different things that you can learn about. And you can see, I mean, there's 49 pages when I filtered by free only. So there's a ton of different stuff in here I would definitely check this out. Question of the day, which of these training options are you gonna to use to study? Are you gonna use something else that we didn't cover? Let me know down in the comment section below. The security analyst role is a great place to start your cybersecurity career or to continue to grow. Much like a SOC analyst, the security analyst is a place where some people will spend their entire careers because they enjoy getting experience with a lot of different aspects of security. Ultimately, what matters is that your job is one that you enjoy 
Otherwise, you're not going to be happy and life won't be that enjoyable. If you're looking for more training or career service options, make sure to check out Cyber Training Pro. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description for more resources related to this video, and I'll see you next time.